Hi everyone, today we're doing a bottom bracket adjustment on this Quest Velmobile. And uh, the reason we do this is to set up the bike for riders of either different heights or riders with different lengths of legs. So uh, a general rule of thumb, when you're finding the right bottom bracket position, is when you're in the cockpit, You have the pedals extended at their furthest possible position. You then just sort of slide your foot up and see if you can just touch your heel of the shoe to the pedal. For myself, I can tell you the way this quest is set up right now, I'm off by about oh, an inch, an inch and a half. It's a little too far away for me right now. So the adjustment I'm going to show you today is how to move uh, the bottom bracket a little bit closer to the rider. So to do what we need to do here, we're going to need to access the undercarriage as a bellmobile. So what we do is just slide down a mattress. And personally I use a nice soft blanket just to protect the finish of the quest. Once I have that set up, just to turn the bike onto the mattress. And from here we can access all of the, uh, the undercarriage. Um, I can get to the bottom bracket now through the uh, footholes in the bottom of the body of the quest. So just by the rear tire of the quest is uh, a small compartment that you can open up to be able to access the rear derailleur. Uh, this is important when you're doing a bottom bracket adjustment so you can keep your eye on the chain length to make sure that uh, you're staying within the limits of the derailleur's capabilities. So what I'm going to do here is take a three millimeter hex wrench. Uh, there's three hex bolts that hold this compartment in place. So I'm just going to loosen those off and remove the cover. slide off and right away you can uh, see the rear view of it. Okay so from underneath here you can see the boom on which the both the bottom bracket and crank are mounted. If I just zoom in here. So to make this adjustment we've got uh, two clamps that hold the bottom bracket in place. Uh, there are four five millimeter hex bolts, uh, two on the bottom of the velmobile, and two on the top. So the first thing we need to do is just uh, take a marker, because we want to make sure we can get back to the original position if need be. And I'm just going to make a line there. Tell me where that's at. I'm going to take my 5 millimeter hex wrench just release the tension on these clamp bolts two bottom ones and 
and then up to the top. These style of clamps, make sure whenever you're either tightening or loosening, you do it a little bit at a time to make sure that the clamps stay uh, in a square position on the boom. Okay, so I have those loosened off now. As I mentioned before, the setup on this bike, uh, probably about an inch and a half uh, too far away for me. So what we do here, I'm just going to grab my plastic hammer. I'm just going to tap on the top of the one crank arm. And as I do that, the bottom bracket slides along the boom. You can see the marker there is the original position. And I'm just going to grab my ruler. And I've moved it uh, just over an inch. So we're going to give that a try and see how it works out. I'm just going to tighten up these bolts. About a quarter turn at a time. Need much tension to hold these clamps in place. All right, there we go. New bottom bracket position. Okay, so the last thing that I need to check now is that we haven't gone beyond the limits of the. Uh, the chain length for the drivetrain. Essentially what I've done, I've moved the bottom bracket closer to the rider, which has shortened the distance of the drivetrain and created more slack in the chain. So what I need to do, and I have done already, is put uh, the Quest in its smallest chain ring in the rear and its smallest chain ring in the front of the drivetrain at the uh, crank set to create the most slack possible. And what you can see here is in this position, I still have a gap and uh, the derailleur is running about parallel with the chain. If it were any, sh any uh, longer at all the chain, then it would be rubbing up into the derailleur. But it uh, looks like I'm just barely okay so I can get away with it. If we had moved the bottom bracket further from the rider and made the drivetrain longer, essentially what I would be looking for is that in the largest chain ring in the rear and the largest chain ring in the front we would be checking that the derailleur would be in a position where it still has a little bit of slack and is not completely extended to its limit or that's going to uh, create problems and uh, possibly damage the derailleur during shifting and that completes uh, our adjustment on the bottom bracket of the Quest. I should quickly mention that if you find that you either need to add uh, links to your chain or take them away, uh, you can find all kinds of videos online that will show you how to uh, add and remove links from the chain. So that will allow you uh, more flexibility as far as how far you can move your bottom bracket.